one. Mercy College has reopened its bookstore and what used to be G-level classrooms. Most students are happy about this. However, there are mixed opinions. I like the bookstore because now we have it at the college and we don't have to run to Manhattan, go to Barnes & Noble and pick up all the books or go online because a lot of kids don't have credit cards and this was easier for them to, to come and purchase the books now. The bookstore it was a great idea to bring it back. Um, the prices are very reasonable for students that just pay with cash or with a uh, book voucher that you can get at Mercy College. Dean Hartoon, Dean of the Dobbs Ferry Campus, refused to comment on camera, but stated in the Impact Mercy College Reporters magazine that the old bookstore left due to financial difficulties. But I think it's a good idea that it's back and it's beneficial to some people, you know, those who don't have to travel very far. Um, they can just come here, it's convenient for them. But on the other hand, the prices of the books are still expensive. There are um, cheaper books on Amazon or Borders or Barnes and Noble. While some students are happy about the reopening of the bookstore, others believe that shopping online is a better bargain. All the books that are here are usually new, so everyone has to buy them according to the prices. Hopefully by the end of the semester, when everything starts um, recycling again, people will start bringing in their used books, and that way we'll have a lot more used books for the next semester. I like the fact that the books are, that it's very convenient. You can go to the bookstore and get your books other than like going on um, MBS and waiting two weeks or even like a whole semester one time, I, you know, for books. Aside from the high prices, Mercy College students do believe the bookstore is conveniently located for them to conveniently purchase their books. Reporting from Mercy College News, Adelisa Nunez.